Hello everyone, this is John. In today's video, I will show you how to use the touchscreen gestures in Windows. So, the first thing you want to do is find out if you've got a touchscreen. So, open the settings app by using the Win key and I shortcut. Then go to System and About. Here you will see under Pen and Touch if you have gestures. As you will probably see, I have got a pen and touch support with 10 touch points. Now the first gesture is a single tap and, and this is used to select items and in general to get across the UI. So like this, a single tap just selects an item. I will make it super large so that you see better. As you can see, it selects an item. Uh, if I wanted to open something, I would also use a single click, like this. As you can see. Now, in the official documentation, they say that scrolling is done with two fingers, though I am not quite sure about that. I use like one finger and it still works though I mean it, it also works with two so I guess horizontal scrolling is the same you can also use it like this to scroll you can take the scroll bar and physically move it the next gesture is zoom this is like like this you can zoom in and zoom out much like on Android now something you might not know is the right click menu which is just done by pressing and holding it's gonna give this rectangle and then the menu will pop out and you can interact with it. Now, let's talk about multitasking. So let's open a few things here. Like the Microsoft Store, File Explorer and Edge, for example. And use three fingers downwards, like, like this to minimize all open windows and if you push up you will be able to bring them back it is a little tricky and my computer is a little bit slow so yes you can see it now now if say you're using an application and you do the same three fingers up you're gonna open the win tab switcher for example if you use an app and you want to switch to the last open app you can use three fingers left and three fingers right This is not a really popular feature uh, with the multiple desktops and uh, it is a little bit difficult to to do but if you use all four fingers well I mean without the thumb if you use four fingers you can switch to your open desktop to your other desktops like this it is as I said a little bit difficult but as you can see, I can do it. Uh, now, also, a little bit like the charms bar, I believe, but this opens the notification center and this opens widgets. 
Now I will give you a bonus one for Microsoft Edge, which is really similar to Android. So, say you are browsing, and you want to go to the previous page with the backwards arrow. You can use something like the Android gesture to do it, and respectively come forward. So like this and like this. So that's it. Uh, when just when using your computer, you want to become more precise in controlling your fingers and and just these these tiny menus like like this. You you have to make sure that you can press them properly, like this, for example. And of course, you can always get a stylus to do it no you'll have to get a sharper stylus as you know windows is not a touch friendly operating system that's it hope you find it useful i'm john and i will see you in the next one